We're going to talk about deconstructing reality. Uh, we're also going to talk about language. And before I get into that, though, if you've not seen the other video, I need a thousand subscribers to do live streams again on this channel. I'm not sure when they started that, but please do me a favor if this helps you share it uh, to your friends, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, share it on whatever your own, share it in the communities. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers by October 15th to do live streams again. I'm also going to do a Q&A uh, in the next month or whenever I get enough questions. I'll wait till I get about 10 to 15 questions. So ask the question or questions. It can be about anything, literally anything, and I will answer it to the best of my ability and truthfully, no matter, no matter what it is. So, but first let's, before we start into deconstructing reality, let's go into language. Now, I was talking uh, to a subscriber on here, uh, my brother, we're all brothers and sisters, but my brother, and um, we were talking about the mind and the self and these things, and it hit me, it because you guys know that I do, I know there's something with Christ, I'm just not, I just don't want it to be lumped in with Jesus and Christians. So I was telling him how I do that, um, but I kind of backed off on it a little bit, but it's like there's not enough language to convey this properly. And then this made me start thinking, like, we do not have the proper tools to communicate this because for up front and foremost, this is very hard to communicate to people. It's like you can, it's like, you know, it in your mind, your mind presents to you images and Tell, tells you and shows you things and it's just like you understand it but then when it comes down to explaining it properly it's like there's not enough language to explain it without going into side notations of what you mean and then it, it's just the whole thing so I'm going to give you some examples and really think about this the word self can be used in several different ways the word mind can be used and mean several different things in different ways. Ego. I mean, there's like 15 definitions for ego in, in when it relates to this right here. So, and then the word God, that brings upon a bunch of things. You see what I'm saying? It's just, and these are just examples. There's m multitudes of words that you can use loosely and they can have different meanings. That's why when I say ego, I try to express the overinflation of the ego. Because I don't like to get caught up in that. But, so I don't know how we would do this. We would need to invent new language, or new words. We would have to invent new words, and give them meaning, and then it catch on. So... If any of you guys have any suggestions about how we could expand our language so you, we can explain these things better, that would be very much appreciative. Uh, just any idea, any suggestion, or any solution, anything, drop it down below. So let's go into deconstructing reality and why what you're really doing when you're evolving the mind and you are going down the dark night or any of this what you're really doing is you're deconstructing reality and what happens after you deconstruct reality is well a, a few things happen you realize nothing makes sense and then that will mess you up that will mess with you for a while but then once you, you, you unlearn these things then you learn some new stuff you got to be very careful when you learn that new stuff. That needs to be deconstructed as well. And it'll leave you, it'll filter out all the nonsense and leave you with a solid foundation and a new way of seeing life and experiencing life. So after you do this, you after you've got to a certain point, you will live life joyfully and happily, um, truthfully. I mean, truly, truly happy. You will enter paradise here so 
But what comes after you get to a certain point? Well, you don't judge yourself. You don't judge others. Um, you quit paying attention or getting attached to outcomes of things. Like it has to happen. Uh, or if this happens, it's the worst thing ever. If that happens, it's you see what I'm saying? Uh, you will no longer feel the need to do anything but be positive. Now... Let me rephrase this. You will no longer be negative. You will be positive, but you will also set boundaries. And when things come into your field that is not good or healthy for you, you will speak up and cut that out. But mainly, it's mainly, you're mainly positive. Um, you will, you will realize this is the biggest thing you need to realize after you've deconstructed it. There is no point in this. Absolutely no point. It's kind of like, when I say it, it's a game of forming the play of life, I mean talking to you, I mean that quite literally. Because we're all one consciousness or one mind that has fragmented itself, and this is my belief, I could be wrong, just up front. This is the way I believe, and this is the way I feel. So, um, this is how I live my life. Do unto others is the main point of this. So, it's all one mind or one consciousness that has fragmented itself to have a semblance of reality, to have these experiences, to enjoy this. And again, let me reiterate, that's what I believe I could be wrong. But, so I am you talking to you. The only difference in me and you is location, exp life experiences, the people you grew up with, uh, molded you, created personalities, uh... And here we are. But underneath all that, I am you talking to you. Underneath all that, that blank slate of consciousness that's ever expansive and not there really at all is me. And I am you. So, and the play of life is this is really the only purpose of this. Some people will tell you, well, it's to evolve, it's to grow, it's to learn, it's to... Really, the point of this is to have the experience and enjoy it. It's a it's a drama that we're putting on for ourselves. It's strictly entertainment purposes. But that's not bad. I mean, that's not bad. And hey, I could be wrong about that. But I'm just giving you my insights and my perspective. So then you have to... Then the question arises, well, how do I live this to the best of my ability? And where it can, I can enjoy it, and the people around me can enjoy it, and I can spread this joy um, and truth, or truth's a weird word, but this joy and this knowledge and this understanding and this light to others, and then they, in turn, do the same thing. And before you know it, the whole world's awake, right? And how do you do that? You should come to that conclusion. I'm not telling you which conclusion, or don't do that. I mean, really, it doesn't matter. But if you want the best for life and the best out of life, you're going to be selfless. You're going to be kind. You're going to be loving. You're going to not be... You're going to have high integrity and be someone that people... You're going to be an example for people. So... Because you... We'll get to a point where you love yourself unconditionally. If you've not already got to there, you that's the there's three things I would highly recommend you working towards. Self-love, detachment, and the deconstruction of reality. And all these are going to tie into opening your heart and expanding the mind, evolving the mind, losing the human mind. See, there's so many words here. So many words that can mean different things, but they're they're lumped in together. It's we got to figure something out with that. But deconstructing reality is what you want to do. That is what you're probably doing at this current point in time. But do not get attached to beliefs and ideas. Now, you may say, well, you just told me what you believed, and you're kind of holding on to that. And But here's the thing. I'm aware enough to know I could be wrong, so I'm not really holding on to it. This is what you want. You want to live your life in such a manner that... You're just flowing. You're not getting caught up in the past. You're not worrying about the future. You're not 
worrying what Eric down the road said or Jill up on the next block thinks or you're not worried about uh well this person said this and you're thinking I mean just you see what I'm saying none of this matters and when it comes to I want to say this real fast before I end this I said not to get caught up in stuff going on in the news and wars and killings and racism and blah, blah, all this. And I shouldn't have said blah, blah. You should care. You should care. That's it, though. Aside from caring, what can you do? And are you going to let that ruin your whole experience? Are you going to let what who the president is ruin your experience or have control over you? Are you going to let what some guy or girl did to you 10 years ago in college or high school uh, affect your future. See, these people just get caught up on this stuff. And they talk to themselves and replay it in their minds and then they just, they speak about it with other people and it just creates a cluster F of misery, anger, jealousy, um, I mean, resentment. It's You can fit a bunch in here. So, don't take this so serious. Just work on opening your heart, loving yourself, deconstructing reality, uh, detaching from things, not letting anything have control over you. You want freedom. That's it. We want freedom, right? But it is a game of form and a play of life. I am you talking to you. So is everyone else. I love you. Wake up.